Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna and today I'm going to show you how to crochet these super trendy mesh tops that we see everywhere now on Instagram, on Pinterest. So I'm going to share with you how to make, oh well, you will be able to make the short sleeved one in which is this one that I'm wearing and also I will show you how to make the long sleeved one. So I really hope you like it and now Let's begin. So this is the yarn I'm going to be using. It's the Hendrix by Teslan.com. It's very, very similar to a mohair yarn. As you can see, it's fluffy and hairy. So this yarn, it's perfect for making this particular top. And here's the content of this yarn, if you are wondering. And it's 50 grams in one skein. I have used one skein to make the silver top in which is short sleeved and also cropped. Now for this one that, I'm, that I wanna do with this yarn in the shade Senape, this beautiful mustard shade, I wanna do it long sleeved. So I have here three skeins. So let's hope that three will be enough to make the top that I want. So now for the hook, you wanna double what it says on the label. So mine it says five to seven. So I'm going to be using a 12 millimeters crochet hook. And then I have here a tapestry needle and a small pair of scissors for doing all the finishing details and also the sewings that we are going to be doing to put this top together. So leave enough yarn for the weave in. And then you're going to be making a slip knot. And now you're going to be making a chain that it's an odd number plus three. So I'm going to be doing a chain of 25 plus three and that is 28 in total and that is for a size medium. So I have here my chain of 25 and without stretching, it's measuring exactly 40 centimeters as you can see. So now how are you going to be calculating this to fit around your body? Cause we are doing two parts, the back and the front. So let me explain how you're going to be doing that. So you're going to be taking your bust circumference measurement. Mine is 96 centimeters and then you're going to be dividing it by two. So I got 48 centimeters, and then you're going to minus eight centimeters from this number. So I got 40 centimeters, and that's the sizing of the chain you're going to be doing. And you wanna make sure that it's an odd number. So now we are going to be doing the plus three. So we are going to be adding the plus three at the end. So one, two, and three chains. So I have a chain of 28 here for the base. And now we can begin with the very first row of squares. So first you're going to be skipping those three chains that we made at the beginning. So I have one, two, and three here. And then I'm gonna go into the fourth one. And into the fourth chain, I'm going to be doing the very first double crochet. So this chain that we have here at the beginning, is going to count as a little square. So when we come back, we are going to be using one of these stitches to make a double crochet here at the end. So now chain one, you're going to skip a chain. So I have one here, as you can see, and then double crochet into the following chain. So chain one, skip a chain and double crochet into the following one. And that's all you're gonna do all the way down. And I'm going to be having 13 squares going across. So when you get here at the end, you should finish with two chains at the end. You can see that I have one here and one right at the end. It's quite hard to see, but they are there. Just look for them you find them. And then at the end, chain one, skip one, in which is the second to last, and then into the very last one, double crochet. So now you have your squares going across. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen squares across. This is the sizing that I'm doing. So now to move from one row to the next, it's pretty simple. You're going to be chaining three. 
If you want, you can also chain four, but I like the finishing with a chain three. And then turn your project. You're going to be skipping the chain one space and then into the next double crochet stitch you can see right here into any stitch right on top of the previous double crochet you're going to be working a double crochet and you can see that by making a chain three instead of a chain four it makes the same size square as all the others if we do a chain four the square at the beginning and at the end will be a little bit bigger than all the others. That's why I like to do with this chain three. So now to continue, chain one, skip the chain one space and double crochet into the double crochet stitch, into the following stitch. So chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next, right on top of the previous double crochet stitch. And now repeat the same all the way down and then I'll show you what you're gonna have to do when we get at the end. So when you get at the end, you will have the chain three. So we are going to chain one and then we are going to skip one chain and then double crochet into the, the next chain. It can be any stitch right at the end. I just try to skip one chain and then double crochet into the next and it's going to give a better finishing here at the end. So now to go up, repeat row two. So chain three, turn, skip the chain one, double crochet into the following stitch, chain one, skip one, the chain one space and double crochet into the following stitch available. And then repeat the same all the way down and then I'll show you the ending one more time. So I got here at the end and we got the chain three. So I'm going to skip one and then double crochet into the second. So chain one, skip one chain and then double crochet into the second chain. And you can see that the square, it's basically the same size as all the others. I'm going to now continue following the same steps until I have 12 rows in total and that is going to be the length from shoulder to the length I want my top to be. So I have now completed the 12 rows in which is basically a square <laughs> and you're going to be measuring from your shoulders, just put it right on top of your shoulders and then you can do the length that you want. I am doing down to here in which is my belly button because I'm doing it quite cropped because I do like crop tops and I want to wear this with my high-waisted jeans because I love it. You can also make this into a dress. Just carry on creating rows until the length you want for your dress and then the rest you're going to be following what I'm going to be doing now. So we are going to be now doing the little extension for the shoulders on both sides. So let's get on with that. So now you have to decide how many squares you want for the shoulders. I am doing four squares in total and then leaving five here for the neck. So we are going to be doing the same steps as we've been doing with all the other rows. So chain three, double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, skipping the chain one, and then follow the same steps until you have four squares in total. So once you have the four squares or the amount that you want for the shoulder, from here we are going to slip stitch into the chain one, into the next stitch available. So go into the chain one, going around the chain one, pull up a loop and slip stitch. And now you're going to slip stitch all the way to the other side. So I'm slip stitching into every stitch, as you can see, into the double crochet stitch and also the chain one space. And you're going to be doing that until you have four squares left on the other side. So we can do the extension on the other side as well. So I did the last slip stitch into the chain one space 
From here, you're gonna go straight into the following stitch in which is the double crochet stitch. And then you go into double crochet into that. And now you can finish it off with the squares all the way down. So chain one, skip one and double crochet into the following stitch. Now here at the end, chain one, skip one, chain and double crochet into the following one. So this is how it looks like. We have the four squares on both sides and then the slip stitches going around creating this beautiful round shape here for the neck. So now you can go ahead and fasten off, but make sure that you leave enough yarn to do the sewing of the shoulder on this side. So what I do, I just go over where I have to do the sewing three times. So one, two, three. And this is enough yarn for the sewing that we need right here. So once you've done that, we can now fasten off. And the very first side is now completed. So you're gonna go ahead and do another one exactly like this one. So here we have both sides now together. So I have the front and the back and you can actually choose any to be the front and the back because they don't really have the right or wrong side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to be putting one like this. So we have the shoulders right here and then you wanna match the other side. So because I have the yarn on this side uh, to do the sewing of this side, I'm going to be using the other yarn on this other side so we can sew this other side together. So I'm going to turn this way, put them together. And here you can see clearly how the top is going to look. So now we simply have to sew the shoulders close. So I'm going to be doing this one with you guys. I'm going to be threading the yarn that I have here into my tapestry needle. And now simply match one stitch on this side. So we have the chain three. So you can skip one, go into the second chain. And I'm also going to be doing the sewing on the right side of my project. So I'm not going to be flipping inside out when once I'm finished with the sewing. So now match the next two stitches going down. So I have here double crochet stitch and double crochet stitch. And then sew the two together. Now match chain one space on this side and chain one space on the other side. And sew the two together. And that is simply what you're going to be doing all the way down. And I'm going to be matching that last double crochet that we did before the slip stitch. So this one is going to be the last sewing that I'm going to be doing. And then once you are done, you simply going to be going through the two last stitches just one more time before you finish the sewing go through the little loop just like so and now make it nice and tight to fasten off and now you can just weave this yarn in i'm going to be taking it to the reverse when i do the weave in and then i'm just going to be hiding this yarn here on the reverse And before I cut off this yarn, I just fasten off one more time. So I go through the last stitch and then I just go through the loop and make it nice and tight. And now I can just cut off this yarn. So now I'm going to be repeating the same sewing on this other side. And then once I have this completed, I will be back to show you the next sewing we are doing. So as you can see, I have the shoulders now sewed together. I'm going to now fold the two sides together like so. And now we have two, so the sides close and then leaving the armhole so that we can do the sleeves. So now I'm going to be using some stitch markers so that I can mark the places I'm going to be sewing next. So now you have to choose how many squares you want for the armholes. I'm going to be doing six at the front and six at the back. So it's going to be 12 squares in total going around. 
and then I'm going to be having seven squares here for the length of my top right after the sleeves. So I'm going to be counting from the top that little extension one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to be using the double crochet that it's here, this one, not the one at the top, the one at the bottom. So go through this one and I'll count the squares at the back from the little extension. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get that double crochet or any other that you want or any other stitch you want. I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing the double crochet because then we have the complete square when we go around. You'll see what I mean. Now we can mark the two at the bottom here if you want. And now we can do the same to the other side. So now I'm going to be doing the same sewing that I did for the shoulders. I'm going to be doing here for the sides. So I'm going to get a little bit of the same yarn. I'm going to be doing the little trick again, exactly the same as I did for the shoulder. I'm going to be starting at the top and then working my way to the bottom. So I'm going to go through the two stitches that I have marked with my stitch marker. And then here I'm going to be making a triple knot. So now here for the side you will match the row and you're going to be sewing them together. So we have the side stitches, so you're going to be matching those, these little posts. And then you have this line going across from one side to the other, so you're going to be matching those as well. So just finding two stitches to match the line and then sew them together. And now we can go down, so we have the two side stitches here, so just get one little stitch of both sides and sew them together. And now just keep on repeating the same steps all the way down, matching the rows. Now when you get towards the bottom, just match the stitches all the way down. Make sure that it's nice and even here at the bottom. And then you can just finish it off exactly the same way that we did for the shoulder. So now the last thing that I have to do for this side is to weave in the three little ends that I have here and then I'm going to be repeating the same to the other side here. So now I have finished this sewing here on the other side and as you can see we have basically the base ready. We have the armholes so that we can now begin with the sleeves and if you want you can actually keep it like this as a little vest. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. So now go ahead and choose one of the sides. I'm going to be doing here on the right side first. So make a slip knot with the yarn. So choose any stitch here at the bottom of the armpit. And then you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the two loops like so. Attaching with a single crochet and then you're going to chain two. So here basically we have three stitches. And also you want to make sure that you're doing the sleeves on the right side of your project. So I'm just going to be turning this way just so that I can work around. So we are going to be skipping the chain one. Oh well, here we don't really have the chain one, we have the side stitch. So skip this little side stitch and then go into this line. So follow the line and choose any stitch here where you have the line. And then you go into double crochet. So chain one, skip the side stitch, follow the line, choose any stitch here and then double crochet. You can check if it's looking nice following the line. This one is nice, so chain one and continue. So skip this little space, choose a stitch following the line here and double crochet. So we are basically working into the raw edge, but we can clearly see where we have to, to work the double crochets, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing all the way around. 
following the squares. And here I'm going to show you when I get into the shoulder seam, but it's basically the same thing. Oh, I'm already here. <laughs> so when you get into the shoulder seam, make sure that you chain one before you do the double crochet. Skip the side stitch here that it's equivalent to a chain one. And then just double crochet into any stitch of the shoulder seam, kind of following this line of the sewing. And now chain one and carry on following the same steps here on the other side in which is the back of my top. So I got here at the end and this is what I have. I have the single crochet and chain two on this side and then I have to get to the chain two. So I'm going to chain one and I have here one last stitch here. You can see kind of the line going across. So I'm going to double crochet into this one. And now all you have to do, we have to make a square here so that we can connect. So chain one. So we got at the beginning, so we have the single crochet and the two chains that we've created at the beginning. So we are going to be skipping the single crochet and into the very first chain one. We are going to pull up a loop and we are going to slip stitch. So this is how it looks like. This is the very first row for the sleeves. So we have the beginning here and then we just went around like so. So now to move into a next round, you are simply going to chain three. And now from here, you basically have the base ready and it's going to be exactly the same way that you did the front and the back. So you're just going to follow the pattern. So skip the chain one and then double crochet into the following stitch in which is the double crochet stitch. So you can see you have the square already. So chain one, skip one and double crochet into the next. And that is all you're going to be doing all the way around. You have now the stitches all the way around. So it's pretty easy to find the chain one spaces and the double crochet stitches. So now when you get at the end, chain one, do the last double crochet for this round and then chain one and slip stitch into the second chain. And the second round is the one that you're going to be repeating until you have the sizing that you want for your sleeves. And for the sleeve here going around, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve squares going around, if you are wondering. And now you can just choose the length that you want for your sleeve. For the silver one, I did only two rounds, so you can fasten off here if you think that you like this size, or you can just continue and make as long as you want. I'm going to be following round two and I'm going to continue to make a long sleeved mesh top. So I have finished the top and it looks the cutest thing ever. Check this out. So I finished both sleeves. They look like this. I am so in love with the top. I haven't tried it yet. I'm so excited to try it with you guys and see how it looks on. <laughs> so excited! Makeup. Glasses. <gasps> oh my god! It's looking so cute! Look at it! <laughs> oh, look at the back! So cute! All right, so this is how it looks like on. It looks so cute. Check this out. I'm going to be rocking this now for spring. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of my new crochet mesh top. I'm getting really warm with this top right now. So it's going to be perfect for spring because then we can just wear something nice and thin 
underneath and this just to add that little layer that we need for spring here in the UK. So yeah, this is the long sleeved one. So now I'm going to try the short sleeved so you can see how that one looks because I do love the short sleeved one as well. So here is the silver top, as you can see. It looks so cute. I love this. Look at it. And the only thing that is different between this one and the other one is that the other one is long sleeved and this one has only two rounds for the sleeves here. So as you can see, you can customize it as you wish. You can do a little bit more shorter or even longer or as a dress. You can do long sleeved, short sleeved, even as a little vest. So it's going to be completely up to you how you want to customize this top. I really, really love this silver one as well. I didn't know I was going to like it so much. I actually love it. So yeah, this is how you crochet these super cute mesh tops. I really hope you have enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can see your picture wearing your new mesh top because it looks so cute. I'm so in love. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to start wearing it outside when it stops snowing. <laughs> and if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one. So thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.